Hello and welcome back to another First Impressions video brought to you by MML Play. Today we're taking a look at a free-to-play browser-based game based off of a popular anime series. It's called Ultimate Naruto. This is going to be a click-to-move RPG playable on a browser. So pick some different characters. I'm going to go with the one that sounds a little more mage-ish. Figure the whole idea of the forbidden arts would be witchcraft or magic. In this case, he does cast Fireball, so good call. It is going to have a quest-based level system and missions for combat. Again, this is called Ultimate Naruto, so it's going to be based off of the popular series. Growing up, I was well, usually exposed to Dragon Ball Z, so I actually don't know too much about the Naruto universe. Alright, going to get into some basic combat. It is click-to-move. It's also a flash-based game, so no right-clicking. Come over here, you get near an enemy, as soon as you get to them, you touch them and you go into a combat screen. This area right here, you actually do not control. You can set up your attacks outside of combat, which I'll look at towards the end. At the end of a mission, you get a reward, one or three different prizes, you get XP, gold, maybe some other random loot. Generally the variety between the three isn't that big, but maybe you can get a little annoyed if you miss out something cool. You can level up. Also, you can hear there are no in-game sounds currently or music or anything like that right now, at least. So let's go back and do another mission. You can see the story mode here goes through all of the different stories in order. Also, if you want to read, there is story and text involved. Going through this. I've got my mage here. Click on the guys. And from there you go into combat. There might be dungeons that have more than one fight in them, so that's why you actually have to click. You can't just zone into the dungeon and clear one fight and be done all way. Some of them are harder. And here we've got some NPCs with us. And if I do have a complaint about the style of the game, it is the fact that it seems like early on, your NPCs are doing a lot of the work and your you and your other characters are dead. So I kind of am not a fan of the style that that encourages. It makes me feel like my character is pointless and worthless. It is just kind of, maybe it's just part of the early game, introducing you to the game while showing some of the main characters from the series. I actually don't know any characters from the series, so I can't say if these guys are well-known or not. But it does happen multiple times where you and your allies die, but the NPCs will save you. And Between that and the fact that combat is decided, the order of your text is decided outside of combat, it does make it feel like the game plays itself for you sometimes. Speaking of which, let's look at some of the mechanics. There is a daily login bonus. You do have to hit the check-in button, so kind of like a little bit of a Yelp mobile app right there. Got to check in. There is an item, and or an inventory. You can go through there, click it. You have multiple characters, and as you play the game, you might unlock multiple characters. You can set up in formation similar to pet-style games. Let's actually go look at that right now. And I just unlocked a tank, so I'm going to throw him in the front, me being a... Uh, Clothy caster, I'm going to sit behind him, let him soak some damage for me. Fortunately, he's not going to do too much. He's also a little underleveled. You do gain levels very fast. Pretty much, at this point, every single fight will give you a level. So he'll catch up to me pretty quick, but for now, he's just sitting there to, to soak up some damage for me. As you unlock more guys, you can drop more guys into your formations. You can also equip your allies, too, so keep that in mind. Go over here to the fourth fight, so you can see I did skip one. Now let's see how it works with an ally now. Just some basic in or monsters. I'm going to cast a fireball. He's going to go and do an attack for me. And he's going to take a hit. I'm going to cast my great fireball. Again, this the order of that your attacks happen is decided outside of combat. So that will be the next thing I look at after this mission. Fireball and finished. So there you go. He sucked up all the damage for me. Once they die, they're not dead. They're just kind of knocked out. And you can see this is a fight where that has multiple battles in this one mission so come over here got one more fight to deal with unfortunately I'm going to use my great fireball which is a bigger hit second when the guy is weakened and low so kind of overkill here but I don't have too many options in my attacks yet as you unlock more attacks and you get more choices maybe it gets a little more strategic and a little more interesting but let's just cast fireball and finish him off there we go ultimate completion And it does have an auto track system. Just click on the click on the quest, and it'll take you right where you're going. 
from here. There we go. I got some items, so I can go ahead and equip those, bring up my inventory. Just a little warning, it does tend to auto-move you constantly, so you gotta take control, click on an area, and you'll move yourself, and you can equip yourself. Here's the inventory system right here. Click on the items to equip. And you can see I have extra items. Well, you can see over there on the left of the character screen, I actually have another character I can equip. That's my tank. He's got some items, too. So he's got a weapon, and he's also got some armor legs. Give him some extra equipment. Always nice. Some defense, some extra attack. Perfect. Now that he's equipped, let's look at the different battle options. There we go. You can see towards the right of the formation, I can pick the different attacks. I can put them in a different order. I have the fireball going off second after his attack. Click the game, check it out. It's available for free. Browser-based game. There are microtransactions, so keep them in mind when deciding whether or not you're interested in the game. That's it for today. Thanks for watching. See you guys later. Bye. Oh yeah, next mission.